In this uh, presentation, we're going to discuss a way to hijack the JavaScript library D3, which can be used for a variety of data-driven things, but we're going to use it to generate plots from Raku, so something like this. And I'm going to go through some of the basic uh, uh, plots, demonstrate the basic plots, uh, how being used with this uh, uh, Raku package, JavaScript D3. This was um, more of a hack five, six days ago when I started working on, on this. Now it's less of a hack. It is possible because of the Raku kernel implementation by Brian Dugan for the Jupyter framework. And uh, Brian Dugan recently made some implementations which, uh, which make this less of a hack, uh, which I'm relying upon. All right, so, and I'm going to briefly discuss how is this working um, conceptually. So first uh, we load some um, packages here for data manipulation, data generation. This is the package itself, JavaScript D3. This is a JavaScript cell. So there is a magic specification here. It says that this code is not Raku. It's not the Raku kernel. Uh, let me see just a moment. Okay, yeah. So this notebook runs with the Raku kernel, but this cell here, it's actually uh, saying that it's JavaScript code. And here we basically say that certain library needs to be retrieved from certain path and so forth. So here we, we do the visualization. Uh, if I show you what uh, this uh, function does, it generates this uh, JavaScript code. The random numbers which I generated uh, here, they embedded into this uh, JavaScript code. And that JavaScript code is handed to Jupyter with this magic GS, right? Then it's being executed on the browser and we get this plot. All right, so um, we can also use uh, use similar similar type of specification to uh, plot a line. Again, uh, the random numbers were automatically being completed into into uh, two dimensional points. So the vector here it's with uh, y coordinates, and then they're completed automatically with some um, x, x coordinates. I'm using the conventions and the signatures of the plotting functions in Mathematica. Uh, another another motivation or one of the motivations for this package is uh, to to simplify the plotting uh, for with whatever kind of uh, underlying engine, be that uh, D3 or something else. And uh, so I'm using, as I said, the functions in which uh, uh, as a guiding kind of principle, I'm using the functions which are in Wolfram language or Mathematica. It's uh, created by Wolfram research. All right, so and uh, remark on this. You can see that it's actually uh, quite a lot of code here. It, it has to be specified in order to kind of do the plotting. This is by design. Uh, D3, it's, um, it's a low level uh, library which provides quite a lot of flexibility. But with the uh, Raku specifications, we want to be, you know, we want to be as concise as possible. And uh, of course, we also want to just being able to produce plots in some uh, environment which is uh, Raku ready, in which allows us to do Raku computations. All right, so here I'm doing some uh, uh, two dimensional points which are proper. All right, so we have uh, random numbers for the x coordinates, another type of random numbers for the y coordinates, and we visualize them here. So I can put uh, some axis labels, y labels, like label the uh, x and y axis, and put a job title. All right, random data is kind of kind of boring. So real data, I mean, this is also somewhat of a boring set already, because it's extremely popular. It has been used in quite a lot of statistical and data science classes, I guess. So we have this. Um, different species of flower and they have some uh, parameters here like petal length, petal width and I'm going to uh, to visualize here the a histogram for the petal length and I'm going to visualize some correlation between the length and the width, right? Now I want to be uh, also uh, able to visualize this kind of correlations according to the to some grouping, right? And so this is what is happening here. I have taken uh, I have taken the length and the width and um, um, made these records with uh, keys x, y, and group. So the length and the width are in x and y, the group is uh, here, you know, given here with the species, it's uh, being given to group. And this is an array of, uh, of, um, of hashes, and it's being used to, to, to make this uh, plot. This principle is used for some of the other plots, and like say, bubble charts and so forth. 
All right, so let's uh, look into another data set. This is a quality data set. So, so the important thing is so zone and we want to see how it depends on say some of the other variables here. So let's, uh, let's plot uh, temperature, wind and ozone. And here I have, um, I have put, uh, uh, I can put uh, some grid lines. Maybe it's more informative actually. It might be more informative to have like say much larger number of, of grid lines. And so similarly, I can uh, make a bubble chart which um, which uh, uh, is has groups. My group here it's month, and you can see I have taken wind, temperature, zone, and month, and I have made the keys X, Y, Z, and group, right? And so here we have this kind of tooltips which tells us what are the values, what is the group, and so forth, what are the coordinates. All right, so how how is this working, right? So uh, we. We get some uh, Raku code. This uh, Raku code, uh, um, when we evaluate it, the Jupyter hands it to the Jupyter kernel, again, like written by Brian Dugan, which uses Raku. Raku produces JavaScript code. Well, in some sense, this JavaScript code goes here, but this JavaScript code is uh, being given to Jupyter. Jupyter hands it to JavaScript, and then which is once on the browser and then we get the we can get this uh, results uh, i have also made uh, a command line interface to for these functions in this package so let me see I mean, if i can yeah so here you know i'm producing some you know i'm producing some uh some plot which uh, so we can see here i'm having this list line plot uh, with some uh, labels and titles and so forth and I'm uh, outputting this to um, to HTML file and then I'm opening opening this uh, HTML file. All right, this was it. Thank you for your attention.